I love collecting seeds that are kind of fluffy. They're just kind of like, like the Gallardia. So it, it basically makes a poof ball. And so when you collect that seed, it's really easy. It's just kind of a satisfying feel to like grab a poof ball of seeds. In late spring and early summer, in the brush on the side of the roads and near trails, you'll find Zion National Park rangers who work on the revegetation crew collecting seeds. Lots and lots of seeds. We're trying to minimize human impacts and uh, just protect this environment as it is. That's park ranger Turner, who specializes in the revegetation and conservation of the park's plants. The revegetation crew plans carefully to collect seeds at the perfect times. Because often there's a narrow window of when those seeds are at their maturity and they're going to be most viable. So we're constantly monitoring things and then when they do reach that maturity, we're sure to come out here and collect. With yellow and blue bags around their waists. We have carabiners, we can just clip them to our sides. And I have four bags here so I can collect four different species. They pull and pluck seeds off of native plants that are ready to be planted. These rangers are protecting the plants and especially the species that only grow in and around Zion National Park. We want to protect the biodiversity within the park. We also want to protect the genetic diversity within species. The revegetation crew splits the park into zones, collecting seeds specifically in those areas, like near the Zion Mount Carmel Highway and the Perouse Trail. They store the seeds in a walk-in cooler, grow them in a greenhouse, and replant them in their natural habitat. This way, more grow to maturity than if they fell on a road or on a trail. And the natural genealogy of these plants stay in the region. So we'll collect seed within these certain seed zones, and then those plants will return to those specific seed zones. And by giving native plants an advantage, this work puts invasive plants at a disadvantage. One of our big goals is to mitigate the effects of invasive species and you know, getting our native biodiversity that can kind of fend off these invasions of invasive plants. Those invasive plants aren't their only concern. Unofficial paths called social trails and out of bounds unpaved parking areas can grow quickly, but plants can't grow there at all. One or two footsteps might not seem like a big deal, but we have around five million visitors a year and if everyone steps in those same spots, it takes a lot of time and energy to, uh, to revegetate those areas. That's why the vegetation crew steps in to make sure plants don't get stepped on. So the next time you visit Zion, take in the sights, smells, and sounds, and stay on roads and trails. We want to protect the biodiversity for generations to come so that our children and our grandchildren can come see you know, the exact same landscape we're seeing today.